Hi everyone, Jennifer here, and um, this video I'm going to be doing um, something a little bit more um, regular. I hope to be doing this every week. So um, just to give you guys an idea of how I go ahead and plan my pages every week. Um, I did do a big video kind of just showing um, how I do this, but um, I will be trying to do this, like I said, um, every week so you guys can see like a before and then an after on my blog of how um, it looks like after. But basically this is what I do. So um, you know I've taken, you guys have kind of seen this picture of how um, I'm gonna start using different color inks with my Muji stamp with this right here. Um, and so um, this is next week April the 8th to the 14th and so what I've done here is what I usually do first is I pick out what washi tape I'm gonna be using I knew I wanted um, to do a blue pink and blue theme color so um, the washi tapes that I chose were this these right here and um, I wanted to do like a stripe pink and blue theme so I've picked out um, these two washi tapes because they are in the same family and then I went ahead um, what I also um, think about when I'm um, designing these pages so that it doesn't look too messy is that okay so I know I'm doing a stripe theme so I'm gonna go ahead and use like these stripes and then um, choose one other pattern. So I use two patterns and then some solid colors so that it kind of blends well together. If I have too many different patterns and I start mi mismatching patterns, it, it's, it starts to get too busy. So um, those are the two patterns I'm using is like a diagonal stripe and these kind of stripes. And then um, these are the solid colors that I use as well. And when I'm choosing the solid colors, um, I put them together with the other tapes that I'm using to see if they would match as well. Just so that you don't have like an off color. Let's just um, take something for example. Um, solid blue let me try and find a solid blue for you guys how you know I kind of choose it out like I have this blue here as well and that could go as well and then I have this blue but that doesn't go even though they're both blue but the colors don't really go together so you can see how I do that same with the pinks um, I have other pinks here and they don't really go well with what I'm trying to achieve. So I just try and mix and match um, washi tapes together to achieve that look that I'm trying to go for. So what I've done is, you can see here how I've cut that so that I could see the month. You don't, usually I um, do go over the month, but sometimes I do want to see the month or the week or, so I cut that out. And then I've put um, a thin tape here because um, I didn't want it to, to do it in between weeks just in case like I don't have much to write on for example I used it here on the set between Saturday and Sunday because on the weekends um, I usually just do one or two things and that's it um, I like to save the spaces more for the other days of the week. Uh, and then when I'm choosing, um, let's say things that I already know that are coming ahead of time, um, I just like to use these um, masking sticker tapes or you can use these little post-its. So I found some post-its are the same color and you guys can be really I mean, creative even if these are like wide and you see how that would block the stamp I would just cut it don't be afraid to um, make it work for you and then see here how I have my masking stickers 
I could have also gone with like this kind of a pink and then what I would do is I would like look at it and I would see if that would match with the pink that I'm using kind of does I would probably use that or I, I could use a blue I have this blue but that doesn't really I know you guys can't really see that but it doesn't really go with the color that I'm looking for have this blue but that doesn't go either so since I couldn't find something there I went with another set let's see here is it something in here that I saw no maybe here and then also because there's so many patterns here and I'm going for that stripe theme I'm trying to look for something with stripes so I found this that kind of matches and I like that striped pink so I use that here and I just cut half of a strip and I use that for um, like a little note there for a reminder or appointment and then with this here I chose this pink and blue because I have a pink and blue theme and it's striped so that's why I chose that as well and then um, I do keep my transparent stickers here in the back so I chose that I chose a blue sticker here and then again I'm just like going matching the colors so I know this blue kind of goes more than this blue or this so I use that as a reminder for this and then again for this I went ahead and chose a pink I chose more of this lighter pink than the darker pink so I went with that there um, another thing I have are these paper pads and this is beautiful because it has the pink and blues again and just look at what you guys have um, so what again what I usually do is I have a fly leaf my fly leaf here and I keep it in between the week and then like I have a note coming up here I am participating in the no personal stationary spend month so I wrote a little reminder for that and I'm gonna stick that on the fly leaf so I can see that every time I open up my planner and I'm just gonna leave that aside but usually um I'll take washi tape and then I'll stick it on the fly leaf like so the inks I am using for this are the Versa Magic chalk inks and sea breeze and pixie dust and um, I'll link most of my supplies that I could down below in the info box and then um, I also have these Hello Kitty stickers here that are of a pink and blue so I could be using those as well and that goes with that whole theme as well um, I just go through my sticker book and I kind of just look at stickers that I would use. Again, these are just some other examples. For example, this is like a blue, pink, and a white. I could use that. Um, I see this owl here it has a pink and blue and look, his wings have stripes on them. That would be perfect to use as well. Um, I have these paper pads. This is from a long time ago. like back in high school or something and I just kept it I never used it because the paper was so pretty but look it's perfect it's pink and blue so if I wanted to write another note I can just tear this off I'll probably cut it or something you can hole punch it and put it in or you can attach it to a fly leaf whatever works for you so that you would see that note um, that's basically it for this week and I'll see you guys next week and stay tuned for how this all comes together when I do my weekly blog post so make sure you check that out too and thanks again for watching I'll see you guys next time oh another quick thing before I uh, before I go I just remembered um, instead of always writing in purple I usually write in purple but I'm going to try something different as well. I'm also going to start writing in um, a different color. So I might be writing all in pink or all in blue for this week. Um, start try I'm going to start trying that out. Um, 
you'll see how I'm going to how I'm doing that this week when I post up my weekly um, blog post so keep an eye out for that okay see you guys bye bye